All right, he's back, people. I got a unit, a uh, reach-in cooler. It's low on refrigerant. And uh, hold on one sec. Hey, hey, watch. Hey, this is Walter. Hi, Walter. This is Jimmy with HPSCI. How are you doing today? I'm great. How you doing? Pretty good. Just calling to let you know that we have a claim over in Bel Air for a single residential split system. Uh, the awning of the home fell and damaged the condensing unit. Uh, we were hoping you could go take a look at it for us, but do you have any availability later today or early tomorrow? Yes. All right. What can you do? Uh, I mean, e either or. I'm finishing up a job now. Um, what what right. what time what time do they want uh, service today? They say they have open availability. They just wanted it as immediately as possible. Okay. Um, let me see here. What time is it now? It's in Bar It's um. Uh, can we do um? Between two and five. Somewhere between two and five. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I will call. I'll call the insured and I'll see if they accept that. Uh, if not, I'll give you a call back. Okay. Okay, that'll work. All right. Thank you, Walter. You're welcome. Bye. bye. I got a, 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 a reach-in cooler. It has a 402 refrigerant in there. And I think that's phased out. I went to the supply house, Johnstone, anyway. They said it was phased out. So I'm going to try to recover everything and put some 407C in there. I want to go four, four, 407A, but I have 407C. And I ain't want to buy no 407A anyway. So I'm going to try 407C first. And uh, it should work. I use 407 see with refrigerant I mean uh coolers before so we should be good to go so I'm gonna cover this refrigerant and pull a vacuum on it all right This is it. You can see it say 502 refrigerant. So I'm gonna recover all that and weigh in 27 ounces and check my superheat on that 407C. show you the operating pressures. I don't have my high side hooked up. There's no serve port four. Left around it with about eight, eight psi. So it's hardly no refrigerant in there. So. Shut it down.
ounces out of there. Oh, point twenty seven. So definitely low. I got, yeah, he did a phone, I appreciate it. What kind of oil you put on the pump? Huh? On that pump. What kind of oil? Yeah. Um, I just call it vacuum pump oil. Vacuum pump oil? Yeah. I got to do it. I can show you. Because I got, I got one of those. Uh-huh. And you got the glass, but the oil level? Yeah. And it's real low. And you got to change these. If you don't change the oil out, it won't pull no back. I'm going to give it up, sorry. What you need right there? Oh, vacuum pump. Oh, yeah. You got a funnel? I'll give you some. No, no, I buy. You I good? Buy some, okay, buy yeah. That's what you want right there. Where you get this? Uh, refrigerant store. Refrigerant store. Uh huh. Johnson Supply. Okay. Yeah, any refrigerant store had this. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah.
Da 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 da. Put the vacuum on that thing about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I know it probably got a leak in there, but I ain't gonna fix no leak. nitrogen and clean that condenser for the dirt up under there. Good Friday. Off on my real job. So I'm trying to make a little money on my own. I got three calls to run day two. I just got I just uh, got a call from an insurance company want me to go inspect the unit. I'm gonna try to record some of that also. Then I gotta put a one of them uh, Halo uh, I think they call it like um, UV light UV light thing. That's what I got. Let's do this. Sir.
da 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 recover point five um. Vacuum, recover at 0.5 ounces, pull the vacuum. I know you hear the train coming. I want you all to go to your window. Go to your windows and yell out. Sure that's gonna be right, but I'm gonna put 27 ounces in first and then I'll take the uh, SUV. Da, 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 da. Then I'll do a maintenance on it. In the day, 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 day. Street, that's a lick. Go hit that lick. 
That's in my vacuum pump. Huh?
can't find my thing.
Yes. Take a picture of the temperatures early. I'm letting it run for a while and charge, charge it up some more. Just gotta get that damn oil up. Went everywhere. I'm gonna go clean this oil up, finish charging up this unit, let it run for a while, and then I'll probably start back recording once I get the temperature down. See how that 407 gonna work in there. All right, I got about 40 degrees coming out the evaporator coil. But it's super, super heated, it's still high. I don't wanna overcharge it. I need to try to bring that super heat down. Take some out because I had overcharged. The uh, compressor going out, out on internal overload. What did this charge press going to go up to the high? Fly temperature. Evaporate. 
sure they can't get no water holes back there though. So if I can get that uh press stay in the tubes. Take that superheat at the evaporator. I'ma call that good. Like I said, it is cooling. Now we had 8 psi when I first got here. So I'ma leave it at 34. Get up out of here.